Part of what CTV North Suburbs does is provide complete video production services. Everything from short PSAs, documentaries, studio shoots, and even out in the field with our five camera production trucks. And now we offer reduced price services through our Media Makers for Hire program. Media Makers for Hire is a youth production crew aimed at offering talented youth the opportunity to further their production and job skills in a professional setting. I was interested in the digital film production and video production kind of field and that's what I, what I want to go to college for so um, I thought that doing exactly that with this program would help me to like get further knowledge and just kind of figure out if this is really what I wanted to do. Each youth crew member has been training in all aspects of video production at CTV for the entire school year. This summer they will work under the guidance of CTV video professionals to create high quality videos for organizations and companies in the Twin Cities area. We hope you enjoy these excerpts from some of the productions the youth have already completed. I go to SVCPA, also known as St. Paul Conservatory for Performing Artists, and there's different tracks there. There's like theater, musical theater, vocal, dance, and instrumental. And um, I'm in the theater track right now, but I'm going to switch to dance. Breakdancing to me is what breathing is to you. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I really like dancing. I don't think anyone can really pressure me to stop or do anything else because I really like it and I know it's what I want to do. I see breakdancing as a positive thing for sure because it's just fun when you actually get the move. It's just a, a more fun way to, to exercise instead of just like lifting dumbbells and, and push-ups and stuff. At school there's um, a ballet, there's like different levels, there's like one through seven. There's also a point, there is hip-hop, there is a modern, lyrical, and so there's just like a lot of varieties there. What you need to like to start is just good timing and upper body strength and balance, a lot of balance, and kind of be committed. What I like about the school is like the different teachers and how like they're committed to us. Who can tell me how long the minimum you need to hold the stretch? 20 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. What? 30 seconds. And like knowing that we're both, both the teacher and the student are professionals and it's nice getting that from another person. Whatever kind of talent they have, just have fun with it. Don't be afraid to show it and yeah, make, just make other people inspired by this. The chains that I've become are how these changes were all going to are most likely attached to the exact same one. From the day we came to our senses and crossed paths right up to this very special moment in time. Just know that you did make a difference in my life and in my life I pray that I may do the same sometime. But either way it's all a passing pace without a cause, a train without tracks, a brain without flaws, a face without a grin, and a spirit in a body changing back into the shape that it originally was. I'd have to say my favorite genre of music would have to be hip hop, rap, um, alternative, um, pop. There's just like so many different good genres out there. My favorite musicians are Katy Perry, Band of Horses, um, The Shins, and I really like Dessa as well. Wanting to make music has always felt sort of like an elemental drive. You know, it's like, well, why do you get hungry? I don't know. I just haven't eaten in a while. It was really cool meeting Dessa. Oh, cool. Thank you guys yeah, for the interview. Awesome. Yeah. She was kind of a newer artist that I'm starting to get into, and meeting her like right off the bat is really cool. And she seems really down to earth, and it makes listening to her a lot easier because I've met her and I've, I've uh, like kind of I got to know her just a little bit. We're the brutes. We're the Brutes, and uh, the genre, what, indie rock, yeah, something like that. I met 
with the Brutes and like worked with them through a music video. It was a two day shoot. It was cool because they just kind of like hung out and were there all day and kind of were giving input to their video. I would say one theme within most of my stuff is that there's always some sort of a message. Um, and I, I strive for that. Trying to tell me the only way for me to beat it was to be it, but now I see him sick of being seasick, so I'll stick with the scenic route. I mean it now like a teenage smile. I try to write a lot about stories that are either bigger than me or stories that are very personal but maybe have some like universal element to them. I tend to be more interested in what makes people human and how people tend to kind of have a tendency to run away from their humanity. I think that's something that is worth drawing attention to. I look towards these bigger artists and I, I take what they look at and I like, I love the topics that they do and it's like, I'm, of course I'm going to be influenced by something that you love. When I hear a song that I really like and that I know I'm capable of playing really well on guitar, um, I I make it a goal of playing that song and, and playing it well enough to play along. I think I'm affected by Sadistic and other musicians lyrically because I write poetry, I write rap. I feel like the intensity at which teens are influenced by it is stronger um, than, you know, kids or adults, young adults. If your music is really impacting things, then you're, you're making a difference. If it's good or bad, that's the, that's the drawback. If you are going to make art, that's why the way I look at it is that you might as well make something that, that promotes some sort of introspection or growth or honesty. I think as a human being, forget the fact that I'm a rapper, I probably shouldn't leave the world a lousier place than I found it. I think that artists and musicians should be good role models just because I think that people should be good in general. What do you think? Here are a few examples of staff productions that might get you thinking about what the youth and staff at CTV could do for you. Our agency seeks to ask forth from each and every family that we serve, what are your hopes and dreams? Because inevitably, that is the strongest part of who we are in terms of our families, and it's the strongest part of who we are as an American society. This is my family, and everyone has a dream. Sebastian, Leonardo, we're twins. We're twins. Every day here, we see the faces of clients, faces of relief, faces of satisfaction, and hope. Angela overcame trauma. Daniel achieved sobriety. Liliana gained independence. Nina healed from abuse. Stephen quit smoking. Eduardo bought a home. We're here to help you be on the path that you want to be. The vision of Clues has always remained very clear, and that is to help each and every family 
through life's most difficult hour so we can help families find that path towards wellness, towards stability, and towards prosperity, and ultimately, a more hopeful future as well. I came from the Caribbean uh, last October, it's gonna be a year now, with three birds and two suitcases. I did not know absolutely anyone around. All of a sudden, I find myself told by the people in the apartment that I needed to get out because the neighbors cannot stand the noise of the birds. So they told me to get out and I leave to find myself in a very difficult situation that the temperature degree was 20 below zero. I had never been in a place like this. And I was really wondering, what am I gonna do now? I don't know anyone around here. So this is the moment when I get into my job and someone told me, you gotta get into clues. What really impressed me the most is how seriously they took me. I told her, look, you know, I don't have a place to sleep. I've been sleeping inside of a car for two weeks. The person who attended me was so diligent and looking for avenues where my life can improve. The person at Plus became the first real friend I had here in this state. When you're really alone in a place like this, it means alone to think about a place called Clues. La situación que me trajo a Clues era que con el niño mayor yo empecé a tener problemas en la escuela. Este mal comportamiento era todos los días llamada por teléfono, ¿verdad? Casi. Entonces, este uh, Clues empezó a trabajar conmigo. Yo tuve un problema porque yo una vez le pegué a Dani con eso, entonces este Child Protection llegó y todo eso, entonces de ahí fue donde mandaron a Clue. Bueno, nosotros vivimos a, este, mucha violencia doméstica. If, uh, unsafe, sad. Cuando el papá vivía con nosotros, él me pegaba y este, les pegaba a los niños, era un señor muy celoso, muy posesivo. Before my mom went to Clues, like, we didn't know what to do, and it was like sad and scary. No había comunicación con los niños, ellos eran muy callados. When my dad was with us, he used to like um, take away all the fun because he would start fights with my mom. Más que nada las familias latinas tenemos miedo a, ser, a pedir una ayuda de que nos puedan ayudar por medio a consecuencias como si podemos este, ir a la cárcel o que nos puedan quitar a nuestros hijos. I like that me and my mom and my brother be together all the time and that me and Danny can keep studying. Uh, después de los tres años que trabajamos hay más comunicación. We feel more like a family because like now we can talk to each other. Pues me dieron mucha confianza que yo lo podía hacer, ¿sí me entiende? Y hasta ahora yo he dicho no, yo puedo hacer muchas cosas. Tenemos más libertad de expresar lo que nosotros sentimos o de hablar. When families prosper, America wins, and that's the journey of Clues. Thanks to our funders, thanks to our individual givers, we look toward tomorrow in building a future of even greater hope and prosperity for all people that come to receive services from the agency. Hi, this is Ann Johnson, and I'd like to schedule my mammogram. Most women get peace of mind knowing that they are cancer-free. And for the few women who find cancer, more than 99% can be cured. Call SAGE with the Minnesota Department of Health at 1-888-6-HEALTH. Each new project drives us to be more creative and produce better with each program. 
The same applies to our talented and passionate youth producers. Thanks for watching.